So we're running late, but who cares? It's Saturday. Wipes off. So I can play a little a little bit longer outside. Party face. You know what I forgot? Heart rate monitor, but who cares? It's gonna be like a zone two ride anyway. <sighs> So, uh, yeah, we'll talk about that. Oh, it's JCCS right now. Yeah. We're going to see some cars. JCCS right now in Long Beach. This crazy weather. Pretty excited. I love this car show. They charge us though to, to get in. So they, they fence off the area. Really? Yeah, they do. <laughs> so you just did a quick uh, sweet spot. <laughs> We're not done. <laughs> <laughs> We're not done. You see this? You hear the sadness? Maybe we could take a sneak peek. Some sweet cars through the fence. I don't know. We'll see. Behind me. Yeah, that's right. It's ugly as shit. <laughs> CCS, what's up? Yeah, buddy. All 
these people waiting. Worth it. There's a parrot. consistently I started doing Como in uh, I started doing Como in 2020 I got dropped but look at the view it's beautiful and I just kept on going consistently like every Sunday just go to Como you know attack a segment a known segment and then that's it but I never really knew what I was doing it for like I, I didn't know what I was riding for, so um, and it just at, at at one point it just got frustrating. It's like, oh, I'm gonna go ride, but why? Why am I riding? You know, what's it? What's the, what's the point? So I decided in 2021. This is after me riding for like a year, but in 2021 I was like, you know, I'm gonna do a crit next year. And come 2022, I mean, I missed a few Eldo races, but I think in May, mid. Or, um, yeah, when did you start? Around I think it was a, mid May? Yeah, around mid May. Series one, right? Yeah, I did uh, my first Eldo race and then I got hooked. Was that really your first time? That was my first ever crit race. Ever. That's, yeah. all, that's the whole reason why I started getting into crits is because um, I didn't know what I was training for until I started doing crits. It's like, what? why am I doing Como so much? What's the, what's the point of doing these uh, training group rides? Mm -hmm. And then. Uh, that's when I, I started doing Eldo, and even then, people considered that a training trip. But dude, it's, it's still a race. It's you. It's you. Um, USAC sanctioned. So so that's what that's what I wanted to kind of preface this conversation with. Is just my my idea of, of how I was. I got into doing crits. What was your? Um, let's go to your first crit, okay? What were your expectations? What were your thoughts going into your first crit race? What were your thoughts during the race and then finally right after? Going into my first crit, that was my first thought, just don't crash and don't finish last. Those are my goals. Don't crash and don't finish last. I finished, I, I think I finished last. <laughs> you, you so? I'm not sure, I can't remember. <laughs> no, if you can't remember, then you did it. Sure. Okay. If you would know, man. <laughs> I didn't get dropped though. I for sure didn't get dropped. So, but it was a it was a fun experience. And then like the next week, the next week I I just went on a regular ride just down to Seal Beach with uh you know some old friends and um I was all bragging to them that oh I went to Aldo I did Aldo I, I raced now. <laughs> you know. Wait wait so hold on hold on so that was before that was oh, that was my first. No, yeah. Remember I asked you before. During an after. Yeah. So that's your first yeah, thoughts prior. So what were you thinking when you finally, as you were racing, did I miss that? Like, no, no, no. You didn't miss that because I, I didn't really um, get into it. Get well, during, like mid race, I could remember it clear as day because um, I think Brandon York and Julian were still in it. They were yes, still in cat, they were still cat four. And um, sandbaggers. <laughs> they were still Says the sandbagger. <laughs> Says the sandbagger. Hey, hey, yo, 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 yo. Florida, <laughs> yeah, no. Um, so, so Brandon York and Julian were in there, okay. and and yeah, Brandon York. That's your first crit race. Uh, that's my first crit race. Yeah. And Brandon York, you know, he does this in every group ride that we do. And whenever he's behind me, 
be like, up, up, like get up there, go, go, up. And he 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 was doing that like the whole race. I was like, who's this guy yelling? <laughs> that takes up so much energy. <laughs> For reference, this guy Brandon York has, I believe, and I'm just trying to be modest here, uh, 750 FTP <laughs> with a peak sprint of 751. <laughs> He's strong. Just kidding. I'm just kidding, Brandon. I complimented you and uh, not at the same time. <laughs> <laughs> no, but he's a diesel, man. Yeah, strong. Brand is Brand is strong, and I appreciate him. Like whenever we do our uh, the Thursday group rides and he's there, like I always feel like he's pushing me, and it, it, it's good training, you know, um, to have that kind of pressure and you know just to just to have like a privilege to to get on his wheel sometime, you know, I, I appreciate it. 100%, if you, if the gap opens up and you can't close that, he's gone. Yeah. Trust me, I know. <laughs> if you're on B York's wheel, then you gotta hold it. Yeah, but There's even no... then, even then, as soon, just as you even get on his wheel, you're gonna rent the whole damn time anyway. <laughs> yeah, you are, you are. And that's it, it. It's that, like that's just how important it is yeah. to hold it, right? It's like a boa constrictor, right? Once you latch on, literally, you hang on to that shit. So as you're, as you're cutting off the uh, your prey circulation, you're doing it to yourself too. <laughs> it's good for the final lap, all right? <laughs> your final lap, lead out, boom, three, four minutes to go, and then go for the. Sprint, so that's maybe. that's during that's during my first race, and yeah. after after the race. It was, um, it was just, just relief. I mean, I finished the race. Yeah. I didn't crash. I, I'm not sure if I finished last, but I'm, I'm just. I was really happy I didn't crash, and I, I did my first race. Yeah. So once you get that, once you get that that first race under your belt, it's like you just want to keep going back for more. At least that's how it was for me. And here, don't don't, don't sell yourself too short, right? If for somebody who's doing their first crit race ever and you have to deal with those two guys that's even i don't think you can find any harder you know i guess first crit race you know than that you know having those just those two guys chasing those two guys alone for the record every single point. time they've they've raced <laughs> it's always from it's between them two and, and it's a breakaway always I, and and crazy thing here too to that to the same point the next the next week the following week the next race that we did they cat it up they went to um, they went to Cat Three. Yeah. Actually, no. Two weeks after. Two weeks after. Either way, they did maybe five races. Yeah, they races. they were they weren't. Most. I wasn't in the same category for a long time with them because they they cut it up uh, one or two races after after that. Yeah. And um, it was just I don't know. Maybe it was boring for them. <laughs> Anyways, that's the first race. That was my, that was my thought process. So you have before. A tough, you have a really tough first race, bro. Before. During and after yeah. is just like just a sigh of relief. The afterwards was just a sigh of relief that you know I, I finished finished that race, and um, it just opened the door. Or and I, like I just went, I just started, you know, just walking in first, and probably the next the next part of Eldo, the next um, seri the next series start. Mm -hmm. There's ten. 10 races, 10 weeks per series. By the yeah, way. so the when, when that when that the first part of the um, Eldo series ended, second week started, I just went kind of full in, just um, tried to give my all, tried different things during the race, and I was like doing fake breaks, some massive pulls. I mean, there were times where uh, I came close to finishing last, there's times where I was disappointed in, in my performance, but all that just made me want to, it just made me hungry. You know, to hug, hungrier for the podium, trying to um, trying to get up there and uh, just like giving a better performance overall. Than that. And now that I've completed my my a whole season of racing for myself, I'm really looking forward to next season, and I'm I'm looking forward to this to this training block, yeah. this six month training block, to see uh, what I can bring to the table to show up. May I add something to that? Yeah. Um, just to pivot, I guess. I mean, Eldo, in a sense, you can call it training, but this is not going technical, right? It's, good. it's considered training a great... Consistency is key. I've always believed in that, right? The reason why I believe Eldo was so successful 
the reason why Eldo to me is so valuable, right? And going along with the same uh, consistency theme here is that you know what you're expecting. Unlike, for example, as opposed to traveling to different places, right? Different courses, and then above all else, like different riders. You're not sure who's going to show up. You, you, you do not know what to expect. So it's tough you know, factoring all those in, it's tough to hone in on either your deficiencies <clears throat> that you need to work on and versus your strengths, right? But because Eldo's so consistently at Tuesdays, it's the same, pretty much the same group of people that shows up all the time. Now you have this familiarity, right? So now you can, you have a baseline and point of reference to improve upon the week prior. Does that make sense? Yeah. So 100%. that's how I was able to like, you know, I mean, even to this That's day. how you're able to grow, and exactly. that's how you're still growing. Exactly. Everybody knows, I mean, it's no secret that I don't do breakaways, especially climb. I don't climb. <laughs> um, right? That's no secret. Everybody knows that, right? I just want to, you know, slow it down, and ideally speaking. I'm everybody... still trying to make him come out to Como. Yeah, I'm out of here. <laughs> um, you know, slow it down for the last 300, 250 meters, and then we all go at 200 meters. Everybody... Of course, that doesn't happen. But the point here is that now I'm learning when to, you know, at least put in a dig, right? Uh, take a pull up front, um, close down gaps. Shoot, I've even tried to do breakaways from here and there, you know, knowing that it's not going to stick, stick anyway. But the point here is that you are now able to work on specific things, right? And at the same time, try to still win the game. Oh, sorry, the, the race that was right. So it's, it's a, a game. it's a race within a race, within a game, within a game. If that made sense, right? So that, and then you compound that for ten weeks straight. I'm sorry, twenty weeks. Twenty weeks. Twenty weeks. Twenty weeks. Yeah. My goodness, like um, my fitness level went. For example, series one, right? There's no way I would go for four premiums in one. And I just remember one of these, one of the last few races, maybe two or three races. For the last one. Yeah. For the, yeah. Uh, to go I remember they put out four pains in that when Ray came out remember and you that? took everything but one <laughs> <laughs> yeah but the point here is I had enough fitness right to, to, to even attempt those right yeah there's no way I would have tried that maybe even eight weeks ago so the growth and just the fitness you know uh, gains just within eight weeks that's tremendous I don't know a little bit of point of reference too or to get a, a good idea I mean <laughs> I know where you're going with this. I, I, I went for a preem and it it killed. It killed me. And it what sucks too is that I didn't even get the preem. <laughs> <laughs> so I came Eight really close. I came really close. But, but still it like the just the effort for it to go to get that preem, it was it was tremendous. And and afterwards I had I had a hard time recuperating, mm -hmm. like mid race, mm -hmm. because even after the preem, you're like the, the the field is surging. The field surges. Oh yeah, it's the best time to attack right after yeah. the preem. So, I mean, to, to kind of add to Cliff's point, Eldo adds that consistency in not the consistency in, in training, maybe the consistency in race, the consistency in in racing, mm -hmm. and you could still work on on different tactics 100 percent and that's that's that i think that's that's where he's trying to go and yeah and that's going to be huge you know especially for um sbw yeah may i add for example like as if we're not talking about elder now right if you if you're going for other practice grids or crit races where the unknown unknown course different location different races right it's like pitcher trying to hit a moving target that's what you're doing, right? Yeah. It's always here. Like, I want to work on my <clears throat> my breakaway. I want to work on my sprint. I want to work on my recovery. It's hard. But with, with Eldo, it slows down. You know, it goes from here, wherever you like, because different variables, right? Less variables. But with an Eldo, it's right here. Like, well, I did this last week. I did this last week. Boom, boom, boom. At least now you can hold this, stop moving. You know, it's right here. Mm -hmm. And you already know who the hitters are, or at least the... You know which racers are competitive you know who to look out for you learn you then learn what type of riders they are breakaway i'm thinking i'm the only sprinter there right you know what's cool too is right? um yeah. i what i think um i've kind of subconsciously learned is that it's okay to talk mid-race 
It's okay to communicate. <laughs> I mean, you could yell at people if you want, but but like calling out your own position so that there is no accident and you're better able to protect your front wheel with your voice, that, that's huge. Protecting your front wheel is huge in any in anything. You know, whether it's group ride or, or a crit race or um, road race, whatever you want to call it, protecting your front wheel is like the, the most important thing. Because That's a good point. That's a good point, Jackson. Here's another thing too. Because they're more predictable, right? People are familiar, more familiar with each other. Here's the key part that I think what makes the Aldi even more valuable, I hate using this word, but practice crit, right? Especially for beginners. Is that unlike other courses, there's no 90 degree turns. These are flowy turns, right? So... Long sweepers. Yeah. The few crashes I've been, I've done maybe about I don't know, 15 to 20 races there. There are maybe only two or three crashes that at least I could think of the top of my head, right? None of them were through turns. Seen that, right? Yeah, right. Yeah, Although you, th there, there was a close call in my last video, but um, wait, what? But I, uh, <laughs> but I think I, I think I remember I told you like after the, the last race, um, like I went in, but then. Here's the thing though, if I break, if I if I break, it would have been bad for the field. So it, it's either you go all in on, at the apex or or you you know you crash out the field. And I took the you lesser said before thing. the apex, right? Yeah. Okay, good. I, I I decided, you know, to take the lesser of two evils. Either way, man, Eldo was a great experience and Come out, man. Eldo is a great series, by the way. Oh yeah, 100%. Thank you, Sharon Smith, Rasan Bahadi, um, for giving us an outlet in order to do so. Now, Can't forget Ken, who runs that. And Ken, my apologies, yeah, Ken. Diamond, uh, Diamondback Carbon, there's so many of them, right? Yeah. And the city of El Dorado, or Long Beach. City of Long Beach, uh, or even El Dorado Park, I don't know. Uh, but the, the people who manage the park, the park services that, you know, huge thank you for putting for allowing us to, to race, to race yeah, there. Exactly. Workout, fun ride, social Saturday, back at uh, Cliffs, and um, yeah, we'll get, kind of finish off what we're talking about at um, what is it, Prim? Is that place called Prim? Just coming out of the season, just really happy with uh, you know actually racing and uh, actually using my training, using the training, and and still training. So. Okay, so, so the next one. Yeah. Say bye, Cliff. <laughs> Peace. <laughs>